Welcome to the Musings of Jessica Marie blog. Today's post is titled Pearly Whites. Out of all the doctors and healthcare professionals I have to see annually, I dread seeing the dentist the most. Maybe because I have to see them more often than I have to see my primary care doctor or eye doctor. I prepare a whole month in advance by flossing almost every single day to avoid the typical Your gums are bleeding. You might want to floss more often lecture that I used to get pretty often. I take pride in my teeth and smile being as straight and as white as possible. I had braces for two years and two months exactly, but before that, my top four front teeth were trying their best to run away from my mouth. Because of the high probability that my teeth would shift back into their wayward positions, my orthodontist at the time decided it best to give me permanent retainers on the top and bottom row. Looking back, I definitely appreciate that decision since I never have to worry about the most important teeth ever shifting too much out of position. I passed my recent dentist appointment with flying colors. They said my x-rays looked good, my bones and gums were healthy, and there wasn't too much tartar or plaque buildup on my teeth. I changed to a new dentist with Chrissy's blessings since he had his appointment with them first, and they were literally the best dentists I've ever been to. The office was nice and clean, the staff was friendly, and most importantly, the wait was virtually non-existent. As usual, I had to get a multitude of x-rays completed before seeing the actual doctor who checked for cavities. Then, I got to spend time with a hygienist to get my pearly off-whites back to pearly whites. Most dentists that I've been to have only had the TV in the corner of the room, but this one actually had a TV mounted on the ceiling so you could watch something to take your mind off the procedure. I definitely thought that was a cool and thoughtful touch to include. Doctors in general make me more nervous than they used to, and it literally has nothing to do with the actual procedure or checkup I'm receiving. Most of the time, I'm anxious because of the long wait times. I'm usually sitting on edge waiting to be called back to the exam room, and I'm always silently hoping that I don't have to get blood. I'm not a fan of needles, and I close my eyes whenever I have to get stuck. One thing that definitely makes my experience at the doctor's office a little better is having a health professional that looks like me. Most of the time, they are older women, so it reminds me of how my mom would look out and take care of me when I was a kid. Staying aware that the healthcare industry is a business seeking to make money is never far from my mind if there's a diagnosis needing additional testing or medication. Sometimes I think it pays to get multiple opinions just to double check before making a life-changing decision. For some reason, my eye doctor, dentist, and primary care appointments are all during the month of October. I like to call it the doctor gauntlet since there's no skipping those But once I'm done, I won't have to see another doctor until my next dentist appointment in April. As much as I hate the inevitable stress that comes from going to the doctor regularly, I'd rather know about potential issues well in advance than find out too late to make a substantial change. Signed, Jessica Marie.